Do I have a song? We have a song. Uh, mm. Okay, but thank you, bro. Okay. Yes, sir. Mic check. One, two, one, two. We don't have Dev like talking into the intro. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little weird to start. Throw. Yeah, it's like we're starting the podcast off. Maybe we'll like try a proper intro. Maybe he's usually snitching on himself. We haven't right done here. that in right long. Now. We, right haven't, now. we haven't done that so long. We haven't. Hey, what's up, the same on? And like we we haven't done that in like six. We months. haven't. You should do it. Start us off. <laughs> What's going on, Need to Know family? It's Savon Slater. Welcome back to the Need to Know podcast. It is me, Savon Slater, with my beautiful co-host, Alex. Now, and Reggie. You came, You went to Europe and forgot your name, huh? Nah, she did that. She did that. <laughs> no, I purposely pointed at you. I meant to say Alex. No, I know. I was fucking with you. Nah, she did that. She did that. Uh, shout out. What's going on? Need to Know family. We yeah. back. See, Reggie see, did an amazing see? impression of me. That was awesome. That, that, you like, just did. Exactly no, I know. Like, like I'm paying homage to you paying homage. Like that was fucking great. Bro. Flowers, flowers. It's giving um Benjamin Button. Wait, it's get- <laughs> I no, don't know. no, no, no. I got the movie wrong. Inception. Is that I, what? I, I didn't sorry, I'm not a movie buff. I'm Are, sorry. Really? I'm not a movie buff. All of your My brain reference power. was so wrong. Let's just move on. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. But all of his brain power goes to music. I don't think it goes into I anything know. other than music, I've been trying to tell people bro. that, bro. That's you bad. know, I, I tell people all the time, like, I'm Fucking very horrible. knowledgeable about, like, music and culture and stuff like that, but mm. actors and actresses in movies, I I can't name... Brain farts. I can't name five actors. I can't. That's I can't. crazy because I'm the opposite. All I know is Will Smith. That's it. Are you serious? Yo. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not... I'm very dumb. I feel like dumb. it's easier to document music and track it as opposed to movies. Like, movies are just so many depictions of this. All right, let me take that back a little bit. We have, like, a DSP, like Apple Music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that we don't have HBO Maxes mm-hmm. and Showtimes, but it just feels like a one-stop shop in your phone. I don't mm-hmm. know. For movies, I feel like if I don't catch them in the movie theaters, mm-hmm. I'm never going to catch them. I mean, you have all Even of that in, in your phone, too. All you need yeah. is four apps. Uh-huh. I'm HBO, right? <laughs> You would, say, you would say that, right? I mean, you you need all <laughs> just four. The apps. first one, and, and, and you have like the entire Hollywood cinema yeah. package in your fucking pocket. I try the to, same as music. I, you want to know what it is? See, with music, I I know how to properly critique, gauge, and judge. Okay. <laughs> with movies, I don't feel like I properly. You know, when people say, "Yo, I critique movies," or "I critique,", I, critique, I feel like I can critique TV shows because I watch enough of it. I don't really know how to critique what's a good movie or not. So, like, the Wakanda 2, right? Black Panther 2? I didn't see it yet. I caught it at... Ooh, y'all slacking. What do you mean you caught it? I didn't see it yet. What do you mean? I'm going to tell you what. No, because I watched it. Oh, you caught it? Oh, I watched it. Yes, I went to the theater. See, before we do this catch-up, let's encourage everybody to subscribe. We're telling you. I know we have, like, some new people listening, maybe. And if not, please make sure you leave a comment. Again, this is the Needs to Know podcast. So, if you're new, please come along. We have a community over on Patreon as well. Well, if you want extra content, uh, like I said, or like Reggie said, actually, she intro this amazingly. My name is Savon. We have Alex. Yeah. We also have Reggie. And also Devon Terrell, who is not here today, but he is always with us in spirit. Um, and yeah, we was talking shit about Dev, too, about uh, all of his people. All yeah. of his people. All his people in the decisions. Yeah. Elon Musk. Elon Musk and Joe Rogan. We will get into it. <laughs> we'll get into those. Not, not Joe Rogan this week. Shout out Joe Rogan. But um, yeah, let's get into all of that a little bit later. Yeah. And now for the catch up. You, Black Panther, Reggie. Reggie going to these fucking secret society right. events. Not, I never, me. I never catch movies in person. Okay. So Where I was hyped. Catch, so you're you supposed them? to be Mr. Marvel. <laughs> I yeah, am. right. I am. Ain't I am. supposed to be right? marvelous. Like, Yo. Well, contractually speaking, now that I'm with HBO, no. Um, <laughs> Come on. I, I just haven't really haven't. Like had, you went to Comic Con for work, but you couldn't go see Black Panther two. I didn't want to cry. It's been it's been a week. It's I didn't been a cry. week and change. Like, I didn't want to cry. You couldn't find the time to. I did not want to cry. I've been asked, crying is fun. Though. No, not no, when you've been not. doing it all year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I need to stop man, I hate men. It's I not fun. I never cried and was like, this is lit. Honestly, crying is kind of fun. Like, not even to be like a little girly girl. Like, it's like it's 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 like a release. Like, just let yourself cry. You know, it's a release during ba- Black Panther. W- the Chadwick Boseman <laughs> scene. Just, just cry, bro. Like, just ah, it's how it's do you fun. release so. other releases? I'm, I'm, There's other ways to get a release releases. off. Okay. You can get a different release offs. <laughs> <laughs> Crying isn't the only okay, one. Anyway, right? Alex, what no. did you think about the movie? Without no spoilers. Without like, no spoilers. Again, I'm not the biggest movie critic. And I was really in my head trying to see which one I just preferred better at that point, right? At the end of the movie, I'm like, all right, did I like the first one more or the second one more? That's not fair. The really? first one's always better. 
A lot of people prefer this one over that one, though. Really? Ooh. A lot of people. Yeah, I think I did like the first one more than this one. You feel me? They had homie with the flippers. I ain't going to spoil nothing. Actually, I'm going to just say spoiler alert, spoiler alert before I drop some shit. They just introduced some characters that I didn't think they would introduce. Okay, okay. I said that too. The villain in this movie, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know anything, but um, they said that that's in the comics. Oh, that's why. I'm, Maybe, just, I'm just an idiot. Okay, so that's not a spoiler. That's not so a spoiler. don't worry, you can okay, talk about it. I'm just an it. idiot. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I what it. really threw me off, mm -hmm. like, every time when I say we, I mean like the culture gets something, yeah. we always like turn it into like a farce. <laughs> and so Davos. I got a text from one of my friends like, yo, you saw a nigga cat too? <laughs> I'm like, man, what? It took me like that four made him laugh. months like, to really process what he had asked me in my phone. Like, did I see who, what, to win? Like, why do, why can't we just celebrate the oh, R? I just a, got that. Okay. You get okay. My, <laughs> thank you, Reggie. Did you see nigga cat too was a question that came through my phone. That's and crazy. maybe that discouraged me because I'm like, yo, I don't know if I want to be a part of this joke, a part of this one. And also, like, bro, the Chadwick, I heard there was a tribute in the beginning. Spoiler yeah, alert. Sorry. Was, was. I didn't even see the movie, but if That's I know not that even information. A spoiler, cause yeah. You have to expect them to do that. For sure. They for have sure. to. Come yeah, on. Like, yeah, 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 for sure. sure. And in the end, and in the middle. Yes. So you went to a whole <laughs> event dedicated to Black Panther's release. You started your gaming journey. They gave you an Xbox. Yeah, well, we edition. referenced it in the last no, episode Lord. I was here. And I, I try to be low key about it, just talk about it on the pod with you guys the xbox Low thing but after i received the actual xbox they sent it to me like i i just was so appreciative that i had to i had to post about it i had to tell people about it it was amazing but Wait, yeah, hold on, enough, hold about, enough about hold on no we, yeah. we just getting started, no, we just just getting started. <laughs> like you can't <laughs> miss an episode and fucking try to divert the energy from you nah because like, where they shit that shit show. from huh? i don't know I don't you know, went to I Wakanda don't, to go see that shit? I don't even know. I don't even know what happened. Nah, the which people movie that were theater you went to? I was, I was commenting back to people like, I'm just happy to be here. I don't know why it happened. <laughs> I went to the event. We talked about the movie. We talked about Shuri. Like, because she represents, like, you know, um, black women in tech. Like, okay. she's just such a genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We talked about okay. that. There were people on the panel. And they sent me an Xbox that's dedicated to Black Panther. And it was, like, a special edition. And they, they sent me, like... The controller holders yeah. too, and the beads from the movie, and it was like so crazy. But I was just so appreciative. That's why I posted about it. And that should want, that should come with a suit. It. No. Come Ima with imagine I Reggie walking around in a <laughs> a nigga cat <laughs> filled with vibranium. I can't do that. I can't Reggie do that. Nigga, nah, that's, that's crazy. Why I can't do that. Nah, but so yeah, no. So come on to our listeners. Describe the box. It was amazing. What mysterious powers you copped from that? I don't know. I don't even know what to do with it. It's sitting in my room. I'm just looking at it. I don't. That's I have, a collector that you give your kid one day. That's so true because I don't that even know what to do with it. If people, I don't even. I'm not even trying to just plug my Instagram. But if you want to see it, please go to my Instagram because I don't know how to even describe it. You, just, you, have to, you just have to see it. I'm sorry. Well, they can find you at Instagram. But, <laughs> at Reggie Nacho at Instagram.com. <laughs> but, but like. I just don't know. It's not even displayed in my room. I just have it in the box. Yeah. Um, and I could give it to, I could bring it to my boyfriend's apartment because he plays Xbox. Like, Reggie. But I can't, like, it's just, and even he was like, yo, like, it's just like a collector's item. Like, it's a moment, just, too. We just like, dis he, he said niggas, it man. should be, like, it's like for display. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah, for yeah, display. Yeah. Like, yeah. we'll keep it for the next, like, decades yeah. and just display it in our for house. Yeah, we're going to have it on display, <laughs> hanged up next to the TV. You're goddamn right. What are y'all no, niggas talking about? Keep yeah. it in the box. Keep what are y'all niggas keep talking about? It, in the box. It, like, it, feel, it felt wrong to, like, bring it out and just, like, play it. It's a it, collectible. It was weird. It's like, a to game. Y'all being too fucking humble. It, it's boy. a collectible. Reggie said she ain't even bring it in the house. She still got to sit outside the house because she humble. Yeah. It's a collectible. What is going on? I get it. I get it. Like, I understand what you're saying. Reggie. You don't want to play the game that they gave you to play. It just felt wrong. Yeah, Especially because yeah, yeah. I <laughs> have a little bit of imposter syndrome. I'm like, why do I have this whole ass Xbox? Like, so, I don't. Word. Like, you guys mm -hmm. play. Uh, you guys play mm -hmm. video games. Yes, like, I do. but me, I don't. And I'm like, wait, why did I receive this? But I'm I don't. Like, Yo, listen. God just gave me this opportunity, so I'm like, yeah. Reggie, I don't play games, but I would have played. Yes, this you do. Reggie, I don't play. I don't got a system. Really don't. You don't remember? You don't, yeah, I, he's you, the hood nigga that beat no, everybody in the hood no, that no, don't got video games. No, we said like you don't have a console, but you would beat everybody. Yeah, but I would have played this shit out of that. 
The fuck? Yo, y'all being way too humble. Shorty said they're still chilling outside the house. She ain't bringing no, it out, No, I like bro. that. I like that. Because, you know, that's an indicator of, like, a level up. Word? All right. Yeah, when I got people a question give for the both you of amazing gifts, like dope-ass gifts like that, and you Word. don't use it, it's yeah. like that fancy bottle of wine that you get that you're never supposed I to drink. I just appreciated it. Yeah, it I just, just wanted to look at it. Yeah. Just, yeah. That's Think about how much that's right. going to cost. Word. Like, that's the return of Rihanna. Mm. It's connected to Chadwick, to Marvel Universe, Thames. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that's 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 a pretty well, prized position. Cool question for y'all. Yeah. Yo, what y'all supposed to do with a game? It depends what type of game. Wait, what? What you supposed to do with a game? What do you it, mean? Play it, right? <laughs> Yo, y'all niggas. <laughs> I fed into that so hard. You really did. I was trying yo, to, like, hold yo, this bag. Yo, yo, you supposed to, to play the game, right? Nah. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Why, right. Nah, collect it, collect it. Nah, that's dope. That's dope. I yeah, like you look like you've been having like a lot of fun nah, since you left us. Is. You know what? I'm <laughs> not gonna hold you. Nah, word. Hold what on. You? Why are you I having so much fun? I felt very guilty with because you know I love the pod. I've never missed. I've never missed a full episode from the time. Really? She wanted to be me so I've, bad. Look. I've never. I've never. No. What happened to that one time? She yeah, she nah, couldn't make it. Reggie, oh yeah, you couldn't make it because of the bus. Okay. The bus when, when, a, when there was a <laughs> she fucking was mad as hell. she was <laughs> slamming doors. Was when like, there was a fucking truck crash on the bridge, that's when I couldn't make it. She yes. was like, "Yo, they're not letting people from and New Jersey into New York." Was, but that was that was God interfering because that's when uh, Alex and Deb went viral for Arby's. That was that episode. Oh. And then the only other time was when I went on a vacation uh, to Europe. So I feel like. I only missed like a few episodes, and I felt really weird because I was like, "Oh my god, I want to be here." Yeah, but it was worth it. I went to Europe for like nine days, which is really long for any vacation. Very long. Now that's how vacation is supposed to go, if you ask me. No, no, because <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a relaxing thing, vacations, right? But right. this was not relaxing. I went with my family, mm. and we was on some tourist shit, like, yeah. like we were like seeing all the monuments, seeing all the beauty, and seeing all the culture. So it wasn't like a, if you go to like the Caribbean or something mm-hmm. like that, you know how you relax, you wake up and just yeah, sit on the beach. Yeah, yeah. It was not that type of trip. Like we were like out going out to all the restaurants but I really appreciate it I feel like it changed me I know that's really corny people say that now <laughs> Reggie, I know it was nine days <laughs> not nah but those nine days can be very impactful I, 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 actually that I can, can be tell. impactful that I can, can be tell. impactful I can tell I Tra- wanna hear more traveling nine, the- nine days changed my life Guys, plenty of times and I tra- never left the state no like, I've tra- just been having <laughs> traveling the world can change you come on it really can't like okay. seeing that's like other lifestyles and shit like what do you think and changed? I know I know why bitches go abroad to like Italy for, too. for a semester and just don't stop talking about it because it's amazing. It really yeah. is. I, I, Aside I, I, from the little racism, it's okay. Yeah. Like it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. You experience a little bit of that, a little bit of like of tension energy. Of yeah. course, really. Of course. I look different from them. Mm. Of course, but it's fine. But I saw was, you found a Korean like food place, right? Restaurant. Yeah, you found yeah, a Korean restaurant. It was it was so beautiful. And, and <laughs> that was in where Italy. Um, I went to Italy for the first half of it, and we started off, we started off strong. We mm-hmm. went to. I recommend when you go to Italy, I, I'm sorry, Europe, you start off with like, it's a little harder. You have to do a little more research, but mm-hmm. start off in like the countryside, the small towns, rent a little car and drive along like the coast. Like that's when you get the real experience. Word. People go to like Milan. That's like the Times Square. No offense to Milan people, but it's like the Times Square of like mm-hmm. the country. Um, So yeah, go to like the little towns, research like the small restaurants, and get the full experience, and it was just so it was f- life changing. Like just really seeing how they live, how they grow the the vegetables in their backyard, type shit. The water, like, mm. r- like it it was it was so, so crazy. So now yeah. let's speak to the you know, and we're gonna get to Twitter in a second. Yes. Let let's speak to the running <laughs> Italy joke. Right, they they say that you could eat pasta all day out there because okay. they got the real pasta, and we yep. just got the shit that just make us fat and and greasy. Mm-hmm. So. Did you frequent a lot of pasta? What, what what was it like? Was it heavy? Did you come back a little with a little few more pounds on you? Okay. I don't wanna. Nah, spoil that shit. I ain't been there. Okay. Come on, man. Take me out the hood. Take me out the hood, man. Like, okay. What the fuck? I do agree that Damn. people say you shit. talk to people who traveled Europe mm-hmm. and they yeah. say, yes, "Yo, I've eaten pasta and pizza every meal of my." Stay here, yeah. and I've not gained weight. They that's say that because yeah. the ingredients are fresher and like. The ingredients that we're allowed to use in the U.S. are kind of crazy. Like they're banned. Yeah. They're banned in every else. other country. Like FDA, the, chem- like, the chemicals, it. the dyes, everything. That yeah. shit hit. So though. it hit. Gonna, that shit hit. Yeah, but it like, hits in other countries too. That rat poison nah, it, it shit. hit in other places. That rat poison shit be tasting that crazy. That red dye number four hits. It does. That yellow dye it. number two hits. But um, I will agree that it did. Cha- it did taste fresher there. Right. So I do agree. I think it's the truth. Like the just even like the French fries are fresher there. 
But um Damn. But I will say, I don't want to offend people, but every restaurant yeah. along like the street that I went to, it had like the same exact shit. It had the same exact like it was like spaghetti. But that's because like, it's every... fresh, like you said. Everything is fresh. <laughs> it had the same so thing on the diversity. menu. It had like carbonara, nah. lamb with spaghetti. Like it do was... you know why hey. we have so much diversity in like food, especially like in New York? Because it's diverse. But, <laughs> nah, because that shit. They got like a Chinese food spot and like they got uh, Chinese, Thai, Jamaican, hey. Puerto Rican, Tacos. Dominican, uh, Indian. Yeah. All of that is on the same yeah, street. Yeah, and in Italy it was not like that. It was all. But you want to know what pasta. though, Reggie? They I like that. Game. I, they do. Rep- I like that because that shows that yo, we really nice at this. Think about it. To compete on the same block with people that got the same menu. Mm. Oh, wait. You gotta, yo, you gotta fake bring it. You gotta be the best of the best to even be competing like right. that. I fuck with that. That means you was only having a top quality shit. Mm. Damn, you even gain a pound. You look good. Oh, thank you. you no, good. but like to answer your question, yeah. like I think, well, I, okay, my final answer for anybody that was wondering, because I posted on my story about the health and whatever Alex said, mm. um, I stayed the same weight, but I ate so much. So that I feel like it, it worked. The theory worked. Where theory like worked. Yeah. the the food is fresher there because in theory I should have gained mad weight, but I didn't mm. from eating that much. But I, I I stayed the same exact weight when I came back. So yeah, if you want to eat mad shit, <laughs> go to Europe and the the shit is fresher. Whatever. Don't, the shit is don't, fresher. That don't is blame, some great don't blame health me. tips. Don't yeah, blame yeah. me if you gain ten pounds. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's, well, let's move I'm, on to. I'm glad you're back. Alex. <laughs> nah, yes. I'm, 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 we are, we are so happy to back. have you back. Thank this you. podcast was a little bit off the rails when you wasn't here. A little? Uh, it was a little bit. Oof. I think me <laughs> and you and Dev just have a synergy that shouldn't be left unattended. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, I like it though. We need nah, nah. you. Like, the... like you really no, no, do no. guide us whether you speak nah. or not. I think it's just your presence keeps us in check. I, I responded to someone on either Instagram or Twitter. Like, I think there... I like having moments like this. We're letting you guys go. No, don't do off. it again. I like it. I don't like it. I, I don't like, like me it. without you. No, we almost got in trouble. I don't like, I like me it. without you. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say that one more time for you. I don't oh. like me without you being here. Yeah, what Khaled said, I like what Drake likes. Yeah. Yeah, you like that, and, right? And Drake <laughs> likes you. You like Drake. So I don't like you not being here. But how do you guys, okay, how do you guys feel about this? I feel like a, yeah. a, a lot of our listenership mm-hmm. likes that energy so i'm like once in a while yeah. let's just let the guys go off yeah. i like that i, I like I, it. but, but you're not hearing what yeah. i'm saying <laughs> i don't like me i like without you what Drake likes. so i don't care what nobody else likes in that moment I like because i'm like no what, what am Drake i doing likes. when she's not here like fuck that that shit well, is well, like I'm back. crazy i'm, hey, I'm welcome, happy you're back welcome, grateful man. you're back um Thank we God. didn't do you like elon did his employees at twitter yeah, you know you was able to get in the door no badges declined nothing else you didn't get kicked out of the group chats like you're still here i'm grateful i'm thankful we can go to elon we can go to thanksgiving whatever y'all want to do is up it's lit we could do it <laughs> nah, i don't know i want to talk about both i don't know working don't know. in corporate america now where i'm obligated and i have to use a badge to get into the building yeah, yeah, yeah. okay well Same. actually put, okay that's right? a signal to let let's get an update on alex yeah let's get an update on you let's get an update on you yeah a little update on, you know what's funny i got new money <laughs> new money um, new job alert the, anyway. look crazy no, um, the yes, fit is a little different like i don't know what this is Matching sweatsuit wait, type wait. shit. What? I can't even match. <laughs> Not even going front though. I have lost weight. <laughs> have you? What is it about working in Manhattan that just has me? I thought it was because all the food spots would be the opposite. Nah. I'm more accustomed to nah. just want to work yeah, in yeah, that yeah. vicinity than go home. You it's taking cr- the subway by any chance? I sometimes. Okay. All right. I, I drop from. I know of people it. hate it. What? But it's just more efficient, Alex. It's just. I'm gonna more tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. You know, you could only buy a monthly on one specific day. I didn't know that. Did y'all know that? Wait, no, you wait. No, that's what the app bro, telling me. Just get no, the metro no, card. No, that's not a thing. I'm talking about LIRR. Sorry, y'all. I know y'all not from oh, where we're from. About, okay, LIRR right. monthly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can only purchase it on one that specific day in the month, Reggie. Real shit. So that might be true. Oh. It's been cheaper for me to drive really? as a real shit. Where do you, par- where do you park? Uh, in the in the city. Yeah, guys, I found a good city. parking garage. that's like. Thirty-five dollars when I use it, but it's also so like for the a day? for a whole day. I don't care about the. Tra- okay, I'm a driving no, ass no. nigga. You know that. No, but that's thirty-five dollars a day, Alex. I, I ain't say it's every day. Oh, that's true. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying you. Right? I ain't say it was every day. I'm just saying when it just makes more sense. But okay. Speaking of corporate America, you know, Savon has had this running joke here, but like, yo, we need to use more headphones here, blase, blase. Oh, yeah. And I be feeling, dude. <laughs> God got me. Blase, blase. I never God said. got me. Just know that, y'all. <laughs> I never said homie was wrong. Uh huh. <laughs> you just wasn't feeling it. Just wasn't feeling it. Okay. You know, a couple fits wasn't really crushing right. Mm-hmm. You know, we have a, a beautiful YouTube community. Facts. Just trying to make sure we serve them, make sure they could see me nice and correct. 
the you know, IG was, baddies. IG bat, they be out there. YouTube they be seen, baddies. They be watching. TikTok baddies. You be going it's, viral? No, I don't. Us. <laughs> it's baddies everywhere now. All right? Okay. But, you know, it's funny. In my new role, a lot of uh, what I have to do requires me using headphones for majority of my, my work duties. You work in the music That's industry. That's called <laughs> getting it back in blood. <laughs> That's what it is. Real like, nah, real needs to know family. Y'all know, I've been trying to get a mandate for so long. He's been trying. I've been yeah, trying yeah. so hard to just get us to wear headphones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because hey, after Savon had a, had a serious talk with us, I've kept I, I've I've done the headphones. We do a broadcast. Yeah, I tried. Watch, watch the footage back. I've had these headphones on. Yeah, no, I tried it, and I think I think the audience appreciates it. Yeah, but yeah. I, I just think you know God has a very funny yeah. way. His humor. Oh, to like force yeah, the headphones. Yeah, okay. yeah, to force every him time to wear headphones shit, because he hilarious. was the leader. Like Alex, <laughs> Alex, the Alex leader, is the leader. No headphones. The union rep for the pod. <laughs> yeah, he was like, nah. He's the union I rep. I union right? Rep. He's <laughs> HR. He's the union rep. He's the hiring manager. Like he's all the things like you oh, want to be when you're a part of the company. Oh, I'm like shit. the firing manager. <laughs> I'm like, uh, like hey, Aaron. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the nigga. Like you don't want. So he when he doesn't wear the headphones. Nobody else feels inclined to wear the headphones, which is how I'm the only one wearing the headphones. <laughs> but as soon as Alex puts it on, it's like, oh, really, everybody got to do it. You really be the only one. <laughs> yeah. Yo, trust me, like God nah. got me on this one, God, where listen. He's forcing you to wear headphones listen. to get your check. No funny I shit. I dare to take them money. I dare to take them headphones off. That's serious. And I won't. <laughs> and I fucking won't. That is. That is very funny. I'm have, it's, no, I'm telling you, it's hilarious because every time I put them on and I just reference all the conversations we've had. But About headphones. Yeah, real shit. But I fuck with the environment over there. It's super yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah. Yo, know, Sirius has this cool thing like in the lobby area, right? Mm -hmm. There's literally like a performance room. So like, It's all glass too, right? Like, you know like, it. And I literally be leaving some shifts and fucking Sean Paul's performing. I did see Com you. Complex. Yes. Amazing. So, yeah, my life update, I, I fuck with things. Love it. Sirius is super dope. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Yeah. You feel, I, I feel like yeah. you kind of, you know, landed where you're supposed to be. Right? It's funny at how the right time. At the right time and like, shit, right? It's Thank crazy you. how that happens. And you're like very quali overly qualified for the job type oh, shit. Like, I'm, I'm flattered. Yeah. I'm super yeah. flattered. Thank you. I think, honestly, that's a perfect way to kind of go into like Thanksgiving. Obviously, right. Thanksgiving is this week. Um, we always try to give you guys an episode around this time of year. Mm -hmm. And I would love to start with like what we're thankful for. Um, I know Reggie, you posted a poll on Patreon. Yeah. And it's always funny to me when people talk about holidays. Like, what's your favorite holiday? Mm -hmm. right. Because you know, society. Like this time of year is just like lumped together the holidays. Yes. So what's your It's favorite? just the holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But society has done such a great job marketing Christmas as if it's the superior holiday, mm -hmm. right? Nah, that's a fact. You get what I'm saying? They've done such an amazing job <laughs> just marketing Christmas and Santa Claus and, and red and green. As and we get older, how do we feel about Christmas? Why? I mean, we can have that conversation yeah. when Christmas yeah. approaches. Yeah. But <laughs> I, I, I'm always surprised when people say Thanksgiving is their favorite time. And right. I understand why. It's about community. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's about reflecting. Yeah. It's about food. Weed and the, plates. Yeah. Weed. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, getting high with your <laughs> uncle, your cousin, yeah. coming back to the... Like, that's a real thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's bonding. The eggnog, it's, the coquito, whatever it is. It's mostly 90% about your family. That yeah. determines what you think yeah. about Thanksgiving. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I also want to be mindful. I do want to be mindful that some people who don't have family, you yeah, know, people sure. lose loved ones. Mm -hmm. So the holidays can be tough for yeah. others, too. So, yep. um, you know, keep them in your thoughts. Keep them in your prayers. But I do want to take this time just to reflect. There's been a lot of changes. We started out with... Um, Alex yeah. um, transitioning from his old position over at the Joe Budden podcast Word. to Sirius, um, which is and it's always fascinating to me. Honestly, I want to draw these two parallels real quick. Mm -hmm. So you and I both, you know, we we work with Joe, yeah. uh, production role behind the scenes. You know, we know we, what we do what we're supposed say. to do. Yeah, say it, <laughs> do say you it. really say it? I was what you're about to say. I was thinking about this week. Continue. All right, Will, cool. Will Smith I, books. I, no, let's let's see if he knows <laughs> what I'm about you to say. You know how he get with the Will Smith nah, books. <laughs> I can't wait for another. I can't wait for the next one. <laughs> I pre-ordered it. He that didn't start. That was an inside joke for the he real. He didn't even listeners. start the book, and I already pre-ordered his next book. Wait, he's actually writing a new. I don't know, but I oh, already pre-ordered it. Whether okay, he is or not, I'm I have a pre-order. Oh, sorry. Yeah, shit. I have already got his twenty four ninety nine. I have a budget waiting to purchase his next book. Oh shit! But I thought it was so like ironic to me how yeah. we both kind of moved into a different space into companies and places that are ascending like oh. when i went over Absolutely. to hbo max hbo max has been hbo max but i felt like when i went over there no they were just hbo right it, they, they combined with yes. cinemax yeah. right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they combined with cinemax mm -hmm. but i feel like uh, a year ago when i made the transition mm -hmm. um 
we the, the programming was just awesome. Like a lot of people didn't even realize they had a podcast division. Yeah. We got Winning Time. We had yeah. obviously Game of Thrones. Yeah. We did some stuff on the wire. So I got to work with like Idris Elba, uh, Wood Harris, on, John C. Riley, all these like fucking crazy people. Come on. And now to see you and your transition literally yeah. almost a year to, to date, date. <laughs> a year to date later, transitioning into music and radio it's and crazy. digital space. Like right. that's what you want to do. That's where you want to be. I'm where I want to be yeah. and you know I, I can't even be more thankful for how we've evolved as men as young men yeah. um, anybody who is new to the pod or maybe you haven't heard the story but a few years ago when I had the idea to come out and, and relaunch this podcast um, I had came to Alex and we met in a, a Applebee's. <laughs> we met in what? Applebee's. Even I don't know the story, <laughs> y'all. So we we niggas we, was broke, bro. <laughs> <We> had, <laughs> niggas hey. wait, but listen, we had a meeting I in Applebee's. Hate, I hate Applebee's slander. No, no, no. I don't know. It was, it was met there. I love Applebee's. Reggie. I, it was good, but I was broke. We only ate appetizers. It's okay. We had appetizers and water. I loved the food. It was like... I was just not... You know okay, I mean? sorry. That's not even the point. Sorry. <laughs> he ordered nachos and spinach dip, and I ordered mozzarella sticks and had a water. That's a broke Yo, nigga meal. And we chicken. sat there for two hours. The tenders are like $10. Like, come on. <laughs> Shit. Like, okay, anyways. I mean, okay, that, like, to see where we came yeah. from there to where we are now, nah, where we have yeah, like a crazy. whole complete team yeah. behind the scenes, you know, we're able to kind of fund this thing on its own. Yeah. We got a dedicated listenership. I, I feel like we don't thank y'all enough on thank this uh, on this podcast. So I'm super thankful and grateful mm -hmm. for the people. When we miss a week, y'all show up. Y'all yeah, in the sure. DMs, y'all commenting. Yeah, they be like, what? <laughs> Where y'all at? Like all they of it. And, 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 and you know, I, I do want to say there's a lot of content in the world. Y'all could be, your ears can be anywhere yeah. in the world. Yeah. But the fact that y'all show up and y'all listen to us each and every week, you know, I'm thankful for that. So nah, for I, sure. I wanted to start there. Nah, How about sure. um, I'm, I'm I'm also grateful that we were able to just stay 10 toes to ourselves and the brand. Um, one thing about me, y'all know this for sure. I don't like doing anything that doesn't feel natural to myself. Mm -hmm. I think Savon could agree with me on that and attest to that. Yeah, on his I can't own. imagine you yeah. doing something that you don't can't do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't and even imagine. Me that, and Savon yeah. have been able to do that essentially with the need to know as well, right? Being able to kind of um, put ourselves into other environments, right, while still staying solid with how we want our vision to be here, and that shit makes I'm I'm super appreciative and grateful for that because I do see a lot of creators that don't have the same opportunity that we do to do that. Do you see it more now that you're in corporate America? Absolutely. Yo, everybody in Absolutely. corporate wants it out. Oh, everybody oh my God, in corporate dude. America wants it out. This is a great topic. And we, we have that. So it's this so is a great crazy topic. being in both out, spaces. Like outlet? Think like, about it like a this, A creative bro. outlet. Okay, okay. When, you know, we were all went to the school for around the same type of subject, right? Mm -hmm. Journalism, broadcasting, et cetera. Yeah. You know, at that time, we felt like, yo, if we didn't, I know for most people graduating, right? If you don't get a job directly right into that field, yep. you feel like, damn, I'm a failure. I've had discussions with this with some coworkers already, like, right? We oh, just, you got coworkers? I got coworkers. Oh, oh my God, he said coworkers. My boy got coworkers. Nah, that shit crazy. Nah, that's money talk. not from the I block. Them niggas is not from the yo, block. Yo, imagine right? having Alex as your coworker. <laughs> they not from the Them block. niggas is not from the block, word. <laughs> nah, that has got coworkers. Like, I love it. I it's can't imagine having Alex as my coworker. Citizens. <laughs> That'd be so lit. Alex was introduced to law. All about his citizens and he can't believe it. Yo, I love it. I, I love, love it too. I love it too. I love all of them. <laughs> Beautiful building. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I see some of your new cool. Not, They're not, watching this like Alex is not, so cool. They're great. Like he got some amazing, They're, beautiful new co They're all amazing. Shit. Like I God damn, it's a beautiful building. Shout out to you and them. <laughs> well, fucking yeah. When you felt like you didn't, I don't know, get a jur a job and you wasn't immersed in that field, you kind of felt like, damn, I'm doing something wrong. Man, I got to tell y'all, going into this company now with what we built. And just having some of the other things that I already know about myself feels mm. amazing, mm. right? Because now you're able to learn the more corporate side of things while already juggling what you created on the side with your partners. And it's super, super dope. So, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful to see how I landed. Um, I'm also grateful to just still be here. I know that sounds mm -hmm. super simple. Uh, life just moves so quickly these days, man. <laughs> that's not as simple. That that's as deep as it gets. But we that was take my it for answer. granted, right? Yeah, keep going. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, so we're on the same type of thing. Well, right? yeah, but uh, yeah, keep going. Okay, but yeah, I'm, I'm grateful to be here. Real shit. Um, it's, it's as if we we and especially us now. We get into those ages. We discussed this recently, right? Where loved ones are starting to pass, close friends are starting to pass. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like they're affecting us more because we're getting that to these ages and shit. So you know. Just to have, just to be here is, um, I'm appreciative of it, real shit. And every, and, every, and everybody that's in my life that's supposed to be. Mm. Super, super grateful for that.
That's dope. Yeah. Reggie, mm-hmm. you said he kind of stole your answer, so mm-hmm. can you elaborate on your answer? Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like, not that that should be everybody's answer. I would never say that because yeah. I don't want to... I don't know what you think, you know what I'm saying? But I think at the basic level that people should remember, like, to be grateful that we can even wake up the next day. Like, Mm. not to be corny, but when I was in Rome, you guys know, like, the the corny, like, the Trevi Fountain? Like, the, the... the famous thing in the Lizzie McGuire movie where she like made a wish, the Trevi Fountain yes, where you make a yes, wish, I like do. you toss yeah, the coin yeah, yeah. into the fountain. She threw a penny in that bitch and had a boyfriend, right? Uh, Pablo. No, what's See? his name? Damn. Pablo. Throw a dime, yeah. I might get a husband. Have you guys watched the Lizzie McGuire movie? Uh, I just told you to see. Oh, oh yes. Oh, Alex, have you watched the Lizzie McGuire movie? <laughs> yeah, with my little cousins in them. Yeah. Okay. You ain't do it by yourself. Um, Yo, he always got to throw shit on I other do, people. I do. You was fucking with Lizzie. Because you don't understand, though. You was fucking with Lizzie. If it wasn't for my little cousins, I never would have watched Disney Channel. That's a classic movie. She was fly. I never would have watched Disney Channel the same age like that was like a very big movie but i wasn't i was more what's the other nigga shia labeouf what was his shit even, even Stevens, Stevens movie. i was okay. even Stevens. Nigga. okay all right same. as long as you was watching disney yeah, channel yeah. and not well, like by my cousin no you i was watching watch, you was watching college? if it wasn't for my little girl cousins i would only be watching bet and i'm glad it. they you had them in a well, i love how he could find God. a way to toughify this Why not Lizzie movie? McGuire? i love lizzie i just didn't know where to find her till they showed me Okay, <laughs> we have just like iPhones and shit. Yeah, Come on, yeah, you know yeah, that channel. I wasn't going on okay. there. That shit anyway, looks soft. Okay, you was watching so... cops. <laughs> yeah, I was watching cops. <laughs> bad boys. <laughs> bad. That thing was. Why what? y'all think I'm into reality TV like 90 Day Fiance? Because like cops. That? Yeah, cops was real. They but I'm sorry. For a lot. My fault. <laughs> Keep going. Um, we went to the fountain and we had to like it was like one, even. The, even if you don't believe in the the making a wish in a fountain type shit with the coin and shit, like even if you don't believe in it, when you go there, you have to just do it. So I was talking <laughs> to my little sister. I was like, I don't even know what to wish for. Not even trying to be corny, but like my family's healthy. I'm in yeah. a relationship. Most people wish for like a relationship. I, I have wish they would stop. good friends, <laughs> podcasts. I'm in the the career field that I want. I was like, what what do I even wish for? And and student loans. Yeah, you know, yeah. they got forgiven type shit. Because hey, <laughs> hey, that's what hey, I always hey. wish for. Yeah. Even though that's really weird. And your but wish came true. Nah, that's not a weird your, wish. Your thoughts is powerful as fuck. Yo, <laughs> every birthday wish. You know when you blow out the little fucking candles yeah. and shit. I'll be like, student loan forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> You think I'm joking? I'm no, I know you're not. not. I know you're not. I don't know why. Like I could solve I mean, world was hunger. For... I would literally be like, "Can we forgive student loan forgiveness in the U.S.?" <laughs> like every for the past like four yeah, years. I it. I, they was forgiven the moment I took them shits out of my brain. You damn right. They ain't getting I none of that. I forgave myself bread. a long yeah, time ago. I forgave myself. Word. Amen. But um. So I was like, what do I even wish for? I have everything I could ever want. And then my sister, being very corny, I'm sorry, don't laugh. She was like, just wish for, you know, your life quality to stay like this. And mm, I didn't wish for that because now hard. I told y'all. And that, that's like, you Shout can't out to tell. your sister for that. Too. Yeah, that's yeah she's very yeah. she's very cool. My little sister, she's really cool. And just basically, I feel like I have everything I could ever want. And like, I'm not rich. I'm not like, yeah. I don't have designer. I don't have fancy cars. I don't have you like this. Some... Stop it. Yeah, you yeah. put some shit on. You put yeah, no, like, nah, some shit on, my nigga. Oh, no, 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 you you shouted out the Instagram. Yeah. If y'all didn't know, yeah. it's Reggie Nacho. Go Stop check it. out the fits. Go check going. out the drips. It don't got to be designer for it to look good. You okay, make well, it look good. Okay. And, and there's so, some designer in there, though. Don't let her just get that off. Okay. Don't let her just get that off. She got the designer Xbox. You don't know she got a designer Xbox, like of course. Well, she see, got that it was in. gifted to me. She got okay. the black cat Xbox. I can't afford that. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> my fault. I'm trying to be wholesome. Wait, she got a nigga cat yeah. Xbox. That's crazy. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. But like to so, well to societal standards, I don't have like this dream life. Like yeah, yeah. when they picture dream lives, they think like mansions and shit like that. You and never know. I don't. You'd okay. be surprised. You'd mm-hmm. be surprised how many people are on your Instagram, or on your Twitter, and they're like, yo, that is where I want to be. That's that crazy. is where I want to go. It's funny That's because crazy. I was having a conversation, somebody Boy, that we actually that. work with. Um, she, like, I was having a fucked up week. Mm. Just so much work. A lot going on. I was behind. I, I was just, just really in my head. Nah, it was, a, it was a, maybe a few weeks ago. Mm. Yeah. And I was just really in my head. And, you know, I, I spoke to, you know, one of the new people that we have on the team. And she asked Ooh, me. Are you an OG now? No, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and no, you want to know what's funny? I felt like an OG in that moment. Right. Because you told her like, yo, like. Yeah. She asked me. She was like, yo, what do you do? And then I explained to her some of the things that I do. And then she was like, damn, I want to be there. Oh. Oh shit. And then I thought You're like, about. What? All, like, yeah, I, and it just hit me in that moment, like, yeah. yo, there's people looking at what we do and how we move, Absolutely. and we are a 
benchmark to certain people. Like, clearly, we're not at the top of the mm-hmm. food chain, but we definitely aren't at the bottom. And we're something the younger for people, people to look at. They look at us like, whoa, like, yeah. yeah. Like, That's think about the up. brands that we just named. Like, yeah. bro, we got Billboard, HBO, and Sirius on this couch. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. crazy. Uh, yeah, that is kind of yeah. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> like, Wait, that's wild. Yeah, that's kinda, stop. So like, there is somebody humble. listening, like, that's crazy. thinking yeah. like, "What the fuck? I want to be where they are." So right, please, right. I want you to you like know, remember yeah. that. Like, mm. yeah, that's you. True. And I don't want to say you take it for granted, but sometimes you just forget because we're in this rat race and we're always going, yes. we're always trying to like evolve and I accomplish just, more. I, but like, there's somebody mm-hmm. looking at you, Reggie, who is like, "Yo, that is the life that I want to create in some form it's of fashion." It's crazy. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I, yeah. it's crazy because I, you said rat race, like I just don't want to be in that rat race like i don't want to constantly be like wait like i have to work this job in journalism and go up and up and up and be the director of billboard one day like i don't i don't want that that's not my life goal Mm -hmm. and so what i'm thankful for is simply to like be healthy to have two legs that i can walk on like i know that sounds so confident and be like yo bitch do you want anything else in life (laughs) like what like okay we get it you're alive like but really like i really appreciate like being alive like having people that i love around me and i'm really not just saying that to be like corny i'm really like yo like i'm i'm good like and i and i and i'm still passionate about my job i'm still pursuing new things like yeah. applying for jobs and like you know trying to get new interviews and right. doing the showing up for the pod and stuff but at the end of the day i'm i'm very like grateful just just to be here like i really yeah, am so that's sure. that's what i am grateful for this thanksgiving you know what that's that's dope reggie because i feel like i've been running into more and more people that are content with um you know when we were growing up right they, they try to make it feel as if yo when you grow up you're going to be this one thing you're mm-hmm. going to embody this one career. You're going to be all knowing on this one subject. As I get older, I don't know if people are changing. It seems as if people are more focused on just incorporating everything that they want to do at the at an adult mm-hmm. level. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I, I do this here, but I also do this on the side, plus this, plus that. Yeah. It hasn't necessarily just been like, yo, I always wanted to be a firefighter, so I became a firefighter. So. I think people's version of happiness is even starting to change, right? Yeah. Because again, just the way we were taught was mm-hmm. like, yo, you're going to grow up to be one thing. I think we're breaking out of that shit and people yeah. are finding more happiness and knowing that, yo, I don't have to necessarily mm-hmm. just identify as just one thing. I can even speak for myself. I, I know I've been I've been taking that on. So I think yeah. that's one of the things, mm-hmm. that's one of the reasons that mm-hmm. people tune into us mm. because they can relate to all of us working in a nine to five space to some capacity. Right. But we also have this outlet where we talk about real shit, connect with real people. Yeah. Like that's really not a thing. A lot of people don't allow you to get behind the curtain mm-hmm. and we mm-hmm. embrace it almost. You know what I'm for saying? Sure, like for sure. a lot of people really don't get that. That's why we're able to pack out a venue with 200 people. Wow. Period. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, people's favorite podcasters, like they're like podcasters, yeah. they're, or they're entertainment people. We like work jobs and like we talk about that. Yo. Like, yeah, and we show up and we don't try to like make it something we're not. Maybe there's there's interest because you know there's not a lot of people that also have worked as a talent and as behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Mm. So maybe there's even some like entertainment and knowledge there, right? Yeah. With like people like us, right? Where it's like, yo, they kind of there's a parallel. They kind of see both parallels of things, yeah, so yeah, they can yeah. speak a different shit. I yeah. can see that. Oh. It's dope, man. Again, like I said, if you have somebody, um, oh, this is also fellas, fellas, ladies, ladies. I want y'all to take this time to text that ex, okay? <laughs> Please make sure y'all text that ex, man. Nah, it's the what does that have there's, to do with it? We just had such but a nah, beautiful nah, nah, but there's, conversation. There's, there's, there's no better time than Thanksgiving to I'm text waiting. that ex. I'm waiting. Like that is the Let's name of this episode. Let's text stay here. that ex. Let's stay here. Because you really need to let them know, hey. and 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 to really let them know that you're toxic, send them the future me. Hey. Like, double down on it. He talking. Don't even try to hide it. Don't mask behind, like, fake words. Like, let them know, yo, I'm hitting you up because this is who I am. This is who I want to be. Let me add to that. I'm seeing this stuffing on my table. I remember when I... Used to stuff stuff you. you. (laughs) Stuff it all up. Now, let me add... add, I used to fill you... (laughs) What's that shit called? The turkey base? I used to fill you up like a turkey base, girl. And I can't... As soon as grandma took the turkey out, that motherfucker, she filled it up and I was thinking about you. So I had to text you. You had to text me. I had to. Okay. In down. all seriousness, no <laughs> jokes. Down. If you really are trying to get an ex back, today is the day to text her. Listen, like, that's the day. It's a, like a nostalgia day. She's at home sitting with her family, type shit, bored. Yeah, just do hey, it. Hey, I, I am I am pro connections over constant dating. 
I hope that really didn't go over y'all. It went over my head. Explain that, please. Oh wait, I thought that too. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I feel that we live in a. I was thinking about the turkey baster. That is over everything. You know how people be like, I, I keep "What's your that. number one advice for a relationship?" And people be like, "Communication, trust, which is trust, like which is." Above all, but yes. Mm, yeah. But my number one answer for a relationship is like that bond and connection. So that's our, what what Alex said. Go right? Ahead. Yeah. I feel like our generation has become so uh so in love with just being I could I could get up out of here the next day. Oh, I could go find me another tomorrow. Oh, okay. I, I like, peep shit and I fall back. Yeah, you, mm. eh. Okay. <laughs> you could go ahead and do all of that. Do it. But what you some of y'all are not understanding is y'all are not really running into the same types of bonds and connections as much as you guys date. Mm. So you guys will rather date more than just really hone in on the connections that you actually do have. Hey, ain't nothing mm. supposed to be easy. And mm. if someone pisses you off, you're just like, oh, I'm done. I'm done. Uh. Whole time, yo, that was really the connection for you. Yeah. You, you're, you're, it's going to be a while till you find another bond like that. Right. So y'all just keep on dating and letting go of people because y'all think it's fly. Y'all think y'all cute. Y'all can get anybody. Mm -hmm. Y'all can't get anybody, nope. but... Who, which one do you actually want? So, Damn, I'm, wow. I'm with you, say. <laughs> that was a Yo, flight. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Yo, me and Sam nah, both were like, my fool. Whoa. Hold up. Yo, we gonna cut that clip. Hold the my fuck fool. up. My fool, That son. was a bar. Nah, bro. It's a lot of, Damn. We do a lot of that, man. We do. We and do a lot of that. You know, I attribute a lot of this yeah. stuff mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. uh, social media. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, when people have so many options, uh, and it's fucked up. So, shout out to Armand Sadler. I was on his podcast. Stay busy. Shout out to those guys. Go tune in every week. Salute. Um, I was talking to Armand, and even the way, like, everything to me, I can point it back to social media in today's society. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can go to the way we listen to music. I can go to the way we consume music, the frequency. I can go back to relationships, friendships, yep. everything, fitness, mm -hmm. cooking, eating, traveling. All of it goes back to social media for me. Yep. And I think okay. one of those things of, yo, I could find another you in a minute, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. The famous Beyonce. I can find another you in a minute. Matter of <laughs> fact, she'll know? be here in a minute. You can't. But, but you really can't. has <laughs> been the energy exactly. that yeah. people put out into the world Thank because you. social media. Exactly. Because now they made it even easier. Yes. Like, I didn't realize how bad the like button on the story was. Oh, man. Yo, I, when that I, first rolled out, like the little heart, when I first nah. saw it, I was like, eh, this is pointless. But now I'm kind of like, yo, this, ser this serves its purpose. It serves yeah. a purpose. Take my fave shit now. It's also how you... you <laughs> It's, you know what it is? Oh my god. This no. Because when like, Alex um, posted that selfie, he got like mad likes. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. showed me. Ah, he was going he got mad. mad likes. Alex showed me. Yo, that's that's how you giving it up in the life. No, nah, my twin wanted to see some. Nah, that's facts, bro. Nope. You know what? Like, I'm mad because when I booked the reservation yeah. and the need to know email, yeah, yeah. you not you let that out. Now she just let out all your likes. I like yo, Reggie. Good oh, shit. sorry. Wait, nah, I, let that I out. Wasn't nah, to just that. got me up real quick. Nah, because Savon be booking reservations on the business email, y'all. But that's Bus for business. They business reservations. It's all business. You know. They go on the business card. Too. Nah, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> but nah, um, all of this shit go back to social media. It, yeah, it yeah. reminds me of Facebook. I think yeah. you used to be able to like on Facebook, right? I think so, yeah. It, you was able Who to was like somebody. Not not a post, but you were able to like a picture. tag somebody. No, what was it? It was a feature on Facebook. Well, we well you could poke someone. That's what it, it was, poke. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Poke? No, it wasn't back then. It, the, poking somebody yeah. is the same thing as the liking a story. Yeah, it was the equivalent back it's then. It's not saying anything yeah. but saying just it's enough saying just that's enough. so easy it's a poke because like if i was nah, feeling what? someone i could just like poke them like <laughs> and that's what the like is you I was from you. if and you if poke they, some fire if they were already kind of interested in me and i poke them that's it's up. Boom. It's, it's out like that's really it's good. Up. Like, and what do you think the like feature is on the story? I don't have to actually insert your DM to be left on scene, but Yo, you see me and you I see like, you, just like hey, it. and now we here. That's for all you uh, hard eyes and fire emoji niggas. Retire that. If, retire that. Find a new emoji they, that's they, customizable to you, my man. Now they get a little heart joint, so now she could know you a fiend, but you don't look like it. Boom. I like that. Yeah. It all comes back yeah. to social media. Yeah, I'm with all you, dog. Some way, somehow. I'm with you, doggy. Speaking, Speaking of social, social media. media. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. Speaking of social media. We're we in each other. The transition. I, I was going to say, speaking of social media. Look at us. Because of Twitter. You We're know? in tune, <laughs> God damn it. Alex, take it away, brother. Not Yo, listen. Potters. <laughs> Devon Man Wild again. <laughs> Which one? Joe Rogan? Nah, not Joe Rogan. Not this, this time. Month? Mr. Elon Musk. Yo, you know, yeah. he's not here, so I'm not going to like say this. Yeah. But we got to have another conversation about another prominent figure. 
One of his? With Dev. No, he didn't claim him. <laughs> so that's why I don't want to say it. claim him too? But Who, Warren Buffett? They're like in the same Who, Donald gang. Donald Trump? Oh. oh. oh we we got to talk to him he's about gotta his. He's got to kill he's, me. He's, that's why I, I didn't say it. I didn't say it, Dev. I love you. We love you. Reggie loves you too. And she didn't know what I was thinking. Yeah. But we do got to talk to him. But yeah, Elon. Elon, man. Yeah, Um, a lot of people are saying Twitter is dead. So that was to my surprise this week. I, I thought something had happened. Of course, you guys should know by now, Elon Musk has purchased Twitter. Um, in that, he's also fired, <laughs> I think, three to 4,000 employees. Yeah. yeah, somewhere within there. Yeah, mm-hmm. with someone in that range. Like and a we, huge percentage yo, of the staff. A, pre- a percentage of the staff that... This is like a fact. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, a percentage of the staff that does a lot for the company. These ain't your, your, your small-time people at the job. Mm-hmm. Like, they're responsible for a lot of the tech and a lot of interfaces that we use. Now... A lot of those key people were also fired. So um, Twitter has kind of been, you know, hinting at the fact that, yo, we, we might be at the ends road of this shit. And um, what I wanted to just talk about, to be honest with you, is just, yo, why niggas always got to change some shit up, bro? <laughs> Let's talk about the first chain that pissed me off. And I do want to send condolences to the people that lost their job. Yeah, because that's, now that's that big. we're that's in scary. corporate, like, like, that's real. Right, like, right yeah. by <laughs> holiday season the Holiday shit. season, yeah. you know, for, like for no reason. Like, they were just fired. Like, yeah. Just fired. Just fired. Yeah. Just came in, clean house. But And they're in media, so, like, you know, they're in our, like, sphere. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah, it's just crazy. Like Before wow. we get into those poor souls, um, <laughs> I want to talk about the other poor souls. Ooh. The people who couldn't wait to be verified. Oh, let's mm-hmm. talk to y'all. The people who, and and I don't want to judge. I, I, I've been struggling with this. I'm I've judging been, it. Though. I've been j- fucking struggling with passing judgment on this. Okay. Because I'm I, ready for this I conversation. I really don't want to be judgmental. I'm ready for this conversation. I really I'm don't yeah. want to be judgmental. Okay. Okay. But I can't help. Fucking judge people. Come on. Open my feed judging and people. see all these people with blue checks okay. who paid to be verified. Okay. I don't understand it. I don't indulge in that fucking activity. It's like, what's lame. The point? Yeah, what's... It's lame to me. I don't understand. And like, it officially in my head, it kills Twitter mm-hmm. because now there is no hierarchy. And I know people get a little afraid when they hear the word hierarchy, mm-hmm. but it's a hierarchy a is, you know what I'm saying? It's essential to society. And now yeah. with the, it's dangerous. In this lane, <laughs> Yo, it doesn't have any positive effect in my head. Like to pay to be verified, the, I don't get it. The sick it's part like is, so anyone could just put down eight dollars and just get a check. Yeah, it's happened. That's yeah. what it is. The sick okay. part is, is they think that you know the verification like stamps them online and in real life. That shit is so. That shit is so crazy to me. And also, if you didn't know. If you if you click on anyone's badge, okay, that's what I was gonna bring up. Okay, okay you but yeah, you can say it if you want. Go ahead. So the yeah. reason why the whole everybody getting the option to have a blue check does not bother me at all whatsoever. As somebody who, not to just, I, I'm bringing not this up because we're talking about it. Not talk shit. I'm yeah, verified. I've been verified on Twitter for a couple years now, Hello. Uh-huh. Hello. and oh, because oh, I'm a journalist. No <laughs> it's too crowded. Well, you it's got, too crowded. Is it too crowded? You guys. Yeah. Deserve a blue check we, yeah. far be before I did. Nah, <laughs> no, not at all. I don't clearly think so. not. You guys no, were so. no, no, not at all. media figures. I, I won't no, accept I that. So. But, yeah. but continue. But the reason why this whole new <laughs> thingy of people subscribing to Twitter Blue and paying seven ninety nine for a blue check does not bother me is because you, what Alex just said, you can click on it yeah. and say like, yo, when you click on someone's blue check, it says this person has a blue check because they paid for Twitter Blue, the subscription. Or you click on it and it says this person has a blue check because they're notable in the government, the media, entertainment, whatever. So someone like me or Dev who had it prior to this Elon Musk takeover, like we have that, like this person has it because they were an original, original. You was OGs verified. in this social media so shit. So when someone has a blue check, like I don't really care if they tweeted and <laughs> If they think they're important, I'll just click on your blue check and be like, yo, you fucking pay for Twitter. You ain't shit. So I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like, I, it doesn't bother me. I don't think Twitter's dead. I don't think the blue check is dead because the people who have the original badge, like, we still have, like, a blue check. So it's fine. I I, I couldn't help but think that it was, like, a social experiment. I couldn't, yes, like... Yes, because who's, could, who's willing to pay for it? I like, couldn't help but think that we, this is, like, the ultimate social experiment for us to kind of see... Who cares about what, where your priorities are? Good like point. you're paying for a Netflix subscription for a blue check. Think it doesn't change anything 
else on no. your page. Like, no. does, what what benefits does it give you? I don't know. Maybe I could be like misinformed. Uh, I think but I don't think it gives post, you any like, benefits. Longer videos and shit like that. It's just a bunch of smaller features. It's, it's nothing yeah. that's gonna <laughs> change how you operate on the platform. But to you, it verifies you. It gives you some form of validation. And again, going back to social media, it? everybody, it does, unless you wouldn't someone, pay for it. No, because, yes, they wanted it so bad. They just wanted the blue check. Mm -hmm. But now, does it really matter? Because now all of us no. can click on it and see that you just pay for it. It doesn't matter, like, but that's why it I think matter. it's a social like, experiment. Yeah. I think yeah, it has to be saying. some kind of sick social experiment. Uh -huh. Again, somebody like, said, I saw a video. Damn, I wish I had this video. It was from uh, Will I Am. Mm -hmm. And well, I am was talking about <laughs> why, so yo, you know I be coming with these <laughs> random ass niggas, bro. Like, yeah, that's your pocket. I really don't know why all these random people <laughs> be on what? my feed. Yo, yeah, we pocket. be talking about the most intense shit, and mm -hmm. he'd be like, "I have the perfect video," and it's like the most accurate video <laughs> to the situation. He'd be like, Don't you "I have know. this perfect video. It's from <laughs> Natasha Bedingfield." Yeah, yes. I, I, like, yeah, I, I be like, watching her. Yo, she's caked up crazy. Did you know that? What? Which way? <laughs> caked up crazy. Financially Natasha? or in that? Both. <laughs> She's double cheeked <laughs> up, bro. <laughs> Natasha Buddy feel up, bro. Like, but I'm saying, has videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But I, I was yeah. watching this video, and Will, Will I Am came up, right. and he was talking about the reason Elon Musk, or one of the reasons he believed Elon Musk uh, purchased Twitter. I'm okay. listening. Is because he purchased data. Yep. He didn't care about the reason. social media aspect. Yeah. He's invested in artificial intelligence absolutely he has companies he has businesses who thrive off of ai technology i.e the tesla being one of yeah so now if he's purchasing the biggest platform for data one of the biggest i don't know between like meta and all that shit but one of the bigger ones right for sure, for sure. he's able to incorporate it in all his other endeavors all of his other companies and say, yo, I have all of this data of individuals. Like, I'm not on Facebook the way that I used to be. Yeah. Most of our generation is not on Facebook oh, the way that we used to be. Uh, some, nah, like, the yeah. older generation is, nah, for sure. Okay. And, like, people in... Nah, I got some homies doing Facebook dating on it. You know they got Facebook 10 Oh, yeah, my dad's the president. Certain parts of New York, people My dad is the president. Honestly, no, I ain't even going <laughs> I, he used to be the president. He may not be no more. He used to be Reggie, the president. did you know Facebook had, like, their own version of t Tinder on it? What? I'm dead ass. It's a Facebook couple of dating. homies on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't got what's Facebook. It, what's it called? Like what? Facebook something. Facebook fucking. Because <laughs> that's F all they do. F F <laughs> that's all they do. F and F. That's the that's real F and F. The, the new <laughs> Glorilla song, Stream Now. If you meet people on Facebook, it's literally just a fuck. You're not looking for no connection, bro. I'm sorry to tell you. None of that shit I was talking about earlier. <laughs> None of it. Um, yeah, my but fault. yeah, Elon. The data. That, that that's just one right. of the, the things that I've heard, and it makes sense to me. It makes a lot of sense. You know what confuses me about Elon? Quick question for the room: mm -hmm. Do you have a billion dollars? No. Reggie, you got a billion dollars? Uh, yeah. All uh, right, lying ass. <laughs> Did you guys think you guys could predict what could potentially go wrong if you were to give everybody the ability to have a verification badge? Well, when you say that, like, I just, just answer that question before we even get there. I just want to know if you guys would think mm -hmm. about what could go wrong. Yeah, when I, when <laughs> I think like giving everybody a blue badge, I know like it's gonna lead to some crazy ass shit. Like, I, I don't think it's like a yeah. practical thing. What whatever happened is like, yeah, it would have mm -hmm. happened. What what I say to Elon, I'm like, what did you think was gonna what, happen? Exactly like, what. I was Elon, what did you expect? He didn't think. No, no, no. That's I, the thing. I he just accept, said, no. say, I can't accept that. He didn't that. think. No, I don't no, think no, he no, thought. No, he didn't no, accept no. that. No, when, you know how Savon <laughs> just said he didn't think? I think he did think and he wanted this to happen. That's what I'm saying. Because like, I asked you, you can't be, you know, they say he's super bright and I'm sure he is. To be that bright, have that many resources at your fingertips and just, again, just to have common sense. We've seen why Twitter has not done it. Hmm. You mean to tell me, Elon, for real, for real, bro? Just, just did it. Like, you just. That's like, why. I think you, no, he did. It's a social like, experiment. He wanted I could see that. It's a social experiment. Like, like, he could, did think, but he see, just did it. Like, that's bad when it, you have. He just wants to when, see. When you have companies. He wanted us to go wild. Yo, like, when you have public companies that are being traded, that have Twitter accounts, and then can be misinterpreted and misverified mm -hmm. for, like, you. Like as a business person, I don't even own nothing crazy techn techn technological like that. My brain, that's the first place where my brain is going. So it's like, it, to me, it makes me feel like I don't really know. Actually, I do kind of know. One of the homies was telling me, and this may be false or true. I saw it, and I think it was Business Insider. Elon plans to take, you know, Twitter to another level. Okay. Where it's just like, yo, you could uh, 
travel with it. You could use it for like an all encompassing app mm -hmm. is what I'm hearing is rumor. We can't travel. From well, Twitter? I, I want to say this, like I, like travel, travel. Like you could book like hotels and shit like that. He's trying to make it like yeah. an all encompassing. Just like be everything. I believe yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I believe that's it. what I hear. Yeah. I, can see I could that. be wrong. Right? I'm gonna play it as well. I am clip, but okay. think about <laughs> <laughs> you laughing at me. You don't like Will I Am? You don't fuck with I'm gonna play this and Nelly boom, Nelly pow. Furtado clip. Boom boom pow. You don't like that? Hell Yo. no! Don't ever do that in my ear again. Nigga. Yo, remember they said the streets say you look. <laughs> Them chickens dragging my style. They wanna copy like my swagger. I'm like, on that next shit. That's why I hate Twitter. That's when your beard was low, mm -hmm. they said it was Will I Am. That's why they kicked me out niggas off that Twitter shit. I'm like, hey guys, I'm gonna play this Will I Am clip <laughs> because this nigga be talking. He don't just be. He don't even about, make music no and more. And we talked about nah. like five minutes ago. He's like, nah. hey guys, here, here's the Will I Am clip by reference. Now we gonna talk to that nigga. Niggas that look like me, they just be talking. So if you look, if Alex took his glasses off, look at the nigga. Look at the nigga. Nah, niggas that look like me be talking they, they, for real. <laughs> Let them niggas get that shit off. Whoa. Let's hear this nigga. Right now, everyone's hooping and hollering that, yo, Elon Musk Niggas sound like Twitter. me, look. That's dope, right? <laughs> right. Depends on what he uses it for. Right. Right? Right. And let's hope that it's the, for all the right reasons. Right. right. Because he also owns Neuralink. And Neuralink is, you know, the ability to you know, think into the machine mm. without having to write. That's true. Right. Wow. wow. And also AI. That's and the AI that he has is super important. But if Twitter's fire hose is would be used to train the AI. Right. Well, wow, that's if you needed data, that's like the biggest data pipe. For right. sure. And if you need that data pipe to feed artificial intelligence, well wow, now you got the most powerful AI in the on the it, planet. Ever. Right. So so what does the future look like? The future looks like you don't search the internet, you talk to it. Right. I think I like businesses where I don't know the owner no more. I'm not mad at that. I'm not I, mad at that. I, like, feel like I get it. You feel me? I please, feel like if you know, please, I, I please talk that. because I don't know what to say after that. I don't know what to say. But I, I feel I, like I, if you know the owner, shit gonna go wrong. But that's the thing when you can just DM a nigga like, yo, you wildin'. These people get celebrity too. <laughs> yeah. They yeah, get celebrity yeah, too. Like yeah, yeah, now yeah. we have a face. That's one of the reasons mm -hmm. I refuse to pay rent in New York City. Yeah. yeah. Because it's faceless. <laughs> you I don't know who I'm paying. It, nigga, I wanna be paying. able to go to your door and fuck you up if I wanna <laughs> fuck you up. I wanna be able to like and, and maybe not like <laughs> attack Literally, you. Uh, figuratively, yeah, figuratively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Like we gotta have a sparring match, a, 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 a verbal sparring match yeah, yeah, yeah. when you increase rent double. <laughs> But if it's faceless, I don't know. And it's yeah. just like these companies, this but it's faceless, a, you don't know. This has to be a running, like, need-to-know joke for the next year. Like, we'll just be talking about shit, and then say, why will just be like, that's why I hate paying rent. Nah, like, word. Gotta I, loop it back. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. There's a lot circle. of people that's yep. listening to this podcast sure. struggling because to pay their rent. Because we're talking about nah. I am, and nah. you're nah. like, nah. that's for why sure. I hate New York rent, You gotta remind them how bad it is. I gotta let these people know. I've been telling everybody, don't move to the city. Is there any update on that? You don't have to stay on the pod, but is there any update? There's an update. Ooh, okay. Off cam because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an update. Yeah, Oppie. <laughs> yeah, Oppie. Yeah, real Oppie. Oh, yeah. The Elon Musk thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see how it goes. Also, I feel bad for the employees. We can talk about the employees that lost their jobs. Um, they were just I doing really, a good job at Twitter. And, like. and whether they were doing a good job or not, I don't, again, and this could be biased and it's crazy how your own personal life experience makes you see how like the news cycle relates to it a little bit. Yeah. I would hate for to get a new boss, to get a new manager, owner, whatever, and then they come in and they just change the entire culture and the entire environment, right? And so mm. one of the biggest things that I've I have a problem with that, is this, yeah. mm -hmm. is that he's forcing people mm -hmm. to come back into the office mm -hmm. when it's been proven that working what? in the office does not change productivity. Productivity, productivity yep. right, You're yeah. still able to be productive from home. That's that old Even school. Even more from home. That's that old school South African values. Mm -hmm. for, more from no, home. No, American like, values, that 40-hour 40, 40 week. I'm, like, Elon Musk. I'm talking from Elon Musk. Okay. You know, yeah, he's from South yeah, Africa. Yeah. Yeah. From South Africa and also, mm -hmm. like, in, in a sick way, I think it just caters to his businesses mm -hmm. and his investments mm -hmm. to have people make that commute. Mm -hmm. All you need is... 10, 15 people in your company to have a Tesla. For them to say, for you to say, yo, I want you to commute in that Tesla back and forth. 
You get what I'm saying? It's, it's small things I like do. that, the I inconveniences do. that he's causing people. Devon would say, well, he's not entitled to do anything like that because is he could do what he's money. I'm just, I'm just playing devil's advocate a little bit. Yeah. I can hear Devon's voice mm-hmm. saying that shit like, well, he doesn't have to do that. Who? Uh, like, the whole, like the Tesla thing? No, he doesn't at yeah, all. He, yeah. he doesn't have to do it at all. But it's at your, I, I just, yeah. I, I don't understand. It. I don't get it. As somebody who works from home, somebody who's right. uber fucking productive from home, like right. I, I, I fucking, I'm grateful. And we're speaking about Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. I'm thankful that I get to make a living mm-hmm. from my home, from yeah. the comfort of my home. But I also understand the reason why I can work at such a high level is because I could pace myself. Right. It's because I could wake up. I don't have to wake up an hour and a half earlier to worry it's about a commute. A commute, commute yeah. You know, a just a commute thing. alone. Absolutely. A commute and mm-hmm. finding a way to eat. Yeah, for sure. Those are two things that we didn't really no, think about. To have sure. a healthy breakfast. But like, now. That's why I lost weight. I get it. I, I mm-hmm. Trust me, I understand. So yeah. that Yo. was one of the things that really fucked with me when he came in and mm-hmm. did this whole like restructure, reorg. Yeah. Like, like don't, tur- you doing? don't turn my badge off and my cubicle not even cleaned out. Like you that can't, was crazy. you can't turn my Why? badge off, bro. My coffee mug still up That's there. That's traumatizing. My kids is still on my table. Like my family photos you are still in my cubicle, and yo, I can't get. In. I'm logged in the ASOS on that computer up there. Guys, oh, that's sad. Up? Nah, I'm just that's saying shit. I feel like niggas at Twitter is logged in the ASOS. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like I'm logged. I just, I got like four items in my. Yeah. You turned off my badge at the door. Nah, nah, cause they gonna that. look at you through the glass shit. The security ain't finna open. That's why. Yeah, that's sad. That's fucked up. That's it's weird. Uh, weird, weird uh, times in technology. So yeah. if you work for a tech company or any type of company, yeah. honestly, I want to I want to give a little bit of game, just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, so when I was younger, right, um, my my step pops, he is a musician. That's Word. really fire. Yeah, he's a musician. <laughs> he's dope. He's yeah. toured. Yeah. Like that's what he does. Like he introduced me to music and the appreciation of music. Like yeah. he sent him Neo's mixtape. Don't forget uh, it. He did. <laughs> Don't you that's, forget that's it. That's not even like a joke. I forgot about it. And don't you, that's I not used a joke, y'all. Like, no, like, I didn't think nigga. about I didn't think about But yeah, like. I'm not my, trying to be funny. Like, that really nah, happened. That really happened. That, that, that was like a thing. Like, before the Neo album dropped. <laughs> that was a thing. My dad, he, or stepdad, he's a yeah. true uh, musician. Right. And when I was younger, one of the things that he and my mom instilled in me that I've never forgotten to this day, that I want anybody who's listening to take, a, take this. Um, if you develop a skill set, you'll never ever go broke fact Hmm. if you get a skill set you'll be fucking good and i say that because i actually have lived it and i've also seen it right like he's able to always play music in church yep because he can play the piano he can play the organ he can play the keys the keys is in him so even if he doesn't have a nine to five he can always try to get another bag you know what i'm saying if he's able to with his skill set i want to couple that with you couldn't be the most talented person in the world, but you have to have that either ambition or determination or discipline. Mm. For sure. Because you could be the most talented painter in the world, yeah. but if you don't want to sell your paintings and market yourself, like you're not going to make money. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Okay. But, but I get you your always point. have that option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like yeah. you always have the option to say, hey, I'm going to sell this painting. Mm-hmm. You always Which have the good. option to say, hey, I'm going to play yeah. at this church or mm-hmm. at this event because I have yeah. the skill set to do it. So I think one of the biggest things for me working yeah. in corporate America is like we have the flexibility to go where we want to go because we have a skill set. Yeah. Like I know how to produce podcasts at a very high level. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I know how to write. I know how to do things yeah. that, yes, it helps my nine to five. I'm qualified in corporate America, mm-hmm. but I can also move outside of it and still make a living. Leverage it, yep. Like not even just a little bit of side. I can make a living off of it. Mm-hmm. So anybody who's listening, I want you to like develop a skill set. If there's something that interests you, like right now is the greatest time. If you have any type of aspiration to be in, in podcasting, in social media, the influencer world, like micro content is a thing. Learn how oh, to edit sure. Nine by sixteen clips on social media. Shit. You will You're never go here. broke. Even we You're know that here. we're like, yo, we can use a <laughs> micro content. Editor. You will never <laughs> go broke. You won't. If yo, you learn that's very useful. And, how yeah. to and you edit know what? Podcast clips, yeah. TV show clips, yeah. anything. If you know how to get it in that format, and again, I'm giving y'all the game right now, bro. It's nine by sixteen is the dimensions, or a one by one, <laughs> which is the square. I yeah. promise you, mm-hmm. I'm giving you the game. Mm-hmm. If you learn how to edit those two styles mm-hmm. of podcasting, 
of TV shows, of music videos. And tell companies that. Like, write that on your resume or your cover letter. Like, tell be like, people, be like, yo, I can do this, this, yeah. this. Because when like, you have skills like this, you won't feel so boxed into the life that you feel like you're unhappy with mm -hmm. currently. Oh. Because, you know, again, when you don't have these certain skills, you, you just start spitballing. You feel like, mm -hmm. yo, where do I pivot? Where can I go? But when you have that skill inside of you, you could just take it right over there, yeah. And it can apply yeah. anywhere. Yeah, and the sure. beautiful thing about sure. technology is like it's opened up the the market for to sure. gain a skill. Mm -hmm. As long as you have mm -hmm. Wi-Fi, you can learn or teach yourself some type of skill. For sure. And I think that is something that we weren't taught in most schools, right? Unless you went to like a trade school or maybe a private school who prioritized those things. Right. I went to public school. Yo, I went to a... I, was, I needed a 65 to get by. <laughs> that is all I needed. I got a I 67 a on wait, one of my tests and fucking that, graduated, bro. How useless my high school experience was, I, I went to a trade school and it was still useless because I was a fashion major. Oh, and shit. And I'm not a fashion designer, so... Uh, now you just do that shit on Instagram, huh? <laughs> Reggie Nacho, you heard? No, nah. no underscore, right? No underscore? You got an underscore? No, no underscore. Reggie under... Score Nacho, which yeah. is just my phone name. Go but I wanted to ask you guys, like, speaking yeah. of like, um, like talents you were saying and stuff like that, like, yeah. And you guys are are very good at because you guys work at prestigious companies. Yeah. What is your? What you were just saying, like, your talent will take you so far in life. What Thanks. is your? If I just asked you, what is your talent? If I just asked you, if I was <laughs> like, if I just hire, if I if I was a hiring manager for the best company in the whole world mm -hmm. that you wanted to be a part of. And my question was, what is your talent? What can you offer me? What's your answer? Well, I can tell you how that interview went. Because <laughs> that's where I'm at. Uh, okay, I'm at well, okay, okay, okay. So what job. was your? No, we get it, Zayman. No, 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 I just, I kind of, I, I mean. What's What's your answer? Like, what's yeah. your? I don't. Okay, besides from producing podcasts, because you're great at that. But what, yeah, what's your yeah, talent? Yeah. Like, what's your like talent? Yeah. Like, I mean, one of my gifts is like, first off, I'm receptive to criticism, mm -hmm. which I think. Is a big thing. A lot of people can't take criticism. And I'm also, my work ethic is fucking insane. Work. So I don't know if that's a talent. I don't know if that's a talent, but my work ethic sure. is fucking insane. My yes. output is crazy. Mm -hmm. And so that's really what I go in any room where I have to like, you know, present myself. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, I'm going to outwork everybody. So oh, yeah, you, nice. we good. You in good hands. State Farm. <laughs> All State. I'm sorry. Yeah. Not State Farm. Yeah, All as his co-worker, <laughs> I can agree. Nah, Thank for you. sure. I think for me to answer your question, Reggie, it's been like audio. You know, since I've been studying audio since college. I produce beats. I edit it now. I control boards. You just get it. I produce radio shows. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah, it's just I just say audio, yeah. like it's with a skill with audio. You know, he was like the original engineer for oh, the podcast. Shit. I forgot about yo. What? Another he full sat, circle. He moment. sat behind the board. Wait, another full why, circle. Why moment. Why you guys, this was like episode we one through wait, why fifteen. You, we just why do you shit. <laughs> Why don't you ever tell us One this? through 15, we just do shit. Yo, Simon, <laughs> Maybe even longer. Simon, yeah. you're, you're a good storyteller, you're a good potter. Yeah. Why don't you ever use that and, and <laughs> like, manipulate that? <laughs> what, what's that called? Bring why, full why, circle. why haven't you exploited his story to be like, yo... Alex on day one, he, nah. he started from Cause, this. Nah, because we was... Because <laughs> that's for him to <laughs> tell. Like, like, yes, effect. Like, he was staying just, up at night. <laughs> I going don't want going to the public library, nah, editing our, our but podcast. But you understand, though, at that time, me and Savon were doing that on a very normal basis because we were doing it for school. Yeah. yeah. Right? So he, I was gra I graduated school. But from school. day one, you were the audio like, yeah, understander. No, but again, I, you got to understand, though, too, when we started the podcast... I just graduated from college as well. Yeah. So the shit I was doing for the podcast, I was essentially doing for school already. So it just yeah. all felt just so encompassing. He was doing the mic checks. <laughs> he was doing the levels. That's Sucks. pretty crazy. No, full circle. Like, no, that's And now he's that serious. Like, Saying, yo, doing a lot of the same stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. And now it's you're crazy. like a professional. Yo, hello. Like, wow. Hi, right, my yeah. name is Alex. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. This I'm, was a very Alex reflective Edward. episode. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Very reflective. I was episode. about to say, I love this episode. I was about to text you because you know how I am. I was about to text you guys like, "Yo, guys, we're just flowing." <laughs> <laughs> and <they> do, and <laughs> Yo, he's. I love making him laugh because I know because he's like a listener, yeah. so he's like, "Okay." Yeah, sure. <laughs> nah, that's dope, man. And anything else that y'all want to wrap it up with, man? Again, shout out to anybody who may be having some tough times yeah. during the holidays. I know, like, I oh, always want to keep those people that, yeah. in mind. Um, yeah. you know, working at a homeless shelter. A, a few years ago you saw it. i always mm. i always like i think i told this story before but i'll tell it again um <laughs> when i was working at this homeless shelter it's gonna make me cry i they placed me in a family shelter 
So in a family shelter is a, a family, mom, yeah, dad, yeah. whatever make up whatever makes up that family is where I'm able to work with. The right. the clients I'm able to work with. So parents, children, women, men. It's all in there. And um I remember my first year being hired there, I worked with a few families. Mm-hmm. And it was the holidays, you know, we would try to do as much as we could for them. You know, we'll bring in extra food, we'll bring in extra snacks. Um, But we were also limited as a staff where they didn't want us to get too close to the clients. So I couldn't cook a meal and bring it in. I couldn't, they they, they didn't want us to connect. They didn't want us to connect too much because then it it, it caused a conflict of interest where now that could create favoritism. Now that could create you bonding with one person, the other, like it it just creates an environment that you don't want to be caught in the middle of like, oh, he helps this client out more More than than he helps this. But it's crazy because you're at a homeless shelter because you care about people who have those circumstances. Well, if I'm being honest, you don't apply to those jobs. Most people, well, let me not even say that. I didn't apply to that job because I was invested in that space. Mm. I needed a job and they Mm. were paying well at that time. Oh, I thought people worked there because they were like investing in those situations. No, not everybody's a human. Not everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everybody. Like, (laughs) once I got there, I understood. I was like, no, not everybody is in it. (laughs) Not everybody's a human. I ain't gonna lie. Them niggas was paying like $20 an hour in 2015. Like, that was a up, you know? Like, for me, I was like, yo, I can handle this. Well, I thought I could handle it. For sure. But I remember my first year working there. Um, there was a family of of three. It was a mother and she had two kids. And anybody who knows about like football sports, they always play football games on Thanksgiving. Right. Yeah. And I was watching this game, bro, and this shit gets me emotional low key. That's why I was scared. I was like, nah, is this gonna make me cry? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like... gonna make nobody cry. I'm not, I promise you that we ain't here to shed no tears, only tears of joy. Uh <laughs> but I was working my shift at the homeless shelter, six to two or six to four, whatever. I, I might even work the double because I knew how much those families appreciated me. So I'm like, you know what? It's, it's extra money, and I get to be around people that I actually enjoy. Mm-hmm. Like, I built real relationships with these people. You feel, you feel good people. doing this work. I felt yeah. amazing doing that work. Mm-hmm. And so I was working at the shelter, and the football game came on. It was, I want to say, the Cowboys against the Broncos or something like that, or the Lions against the Broncos or whatever it was. And I remember the Broncos at that time was a really good team. Mm-hmm. I think they had just came off of like Peyton Manning, who's one of the bigger football players ever. Yeah. Um, and this family of three women, right? So the mom and the two girls, they all sat around the TV to watch football. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wait, this is odd mm-hmm. because, you know, maybe you get one woman every now and again, and I'm not trying to generalize, but it was just odd to me because they have so much on their plate. Why are they so invested in the football? Like right. there's no man on. in the house. You know, normally the dad is the one who brings the family. Oh, we got to mm-hmm. do sports. Like it was just an odd dynamic. That's and fine. That's what we were. No, it was fine. Yeah, it was yeah, dope. Yeah. And it was great. Like, I was happy because I'm like, shit, I get to watch the game too. Mm-hmm. I don't got to force right. them to watch something I want to watch because, nigga, <laughs> yeah. I want to watch the damn game. Like, oh, I don't get what these niggas talking about. But <laughs> anyway, um, they sat around the, the, the couch and they, they turned the game on. And this little girl, she was jumping up and down. And I asked the mom, I said, yo, when did y'all become such a Bronco fan? Like, did y'all live in Denver? Like, why are you connected to this team in this way? She's no older than 12 years old. Like, what is it? And then she looked at me and she, she said, her godfather's Oh, shit. And I'm looking at her in a homeless shelter, thinking about this millionaire on the field. Mm. Doing this thing, celebrating. He's you said Super Bowl the, or just a football game? It was just a regular football okay, game, okay, but okay. they had just came off a of Super Bowl, so he was a Super Bowl so champion. So he's, like, good. Like he's, he's, he's a very good player, very yeah, good okay. player. He was one of the top Sheesh. players at his position at that time. Uh, she even told me a story that one time they went to, like, a family barbecue. He was in, like, the bouncy house. He lost his earring in the bouncy house, and he offered $4,000 for anybody who found his earring. Like, wait, he had money, wait. money. I'm confused. He was like, yo, if you find wait, my up, earring, wait, I will pay you $4,000. Okay, I don't want to interrupt your story, but you said it was the godfather. Yeah, mm-hmm. and maybe because, whoever, okay. Crystal, please bleep out the number. I don't want anybody to make a connection. Oh, sorry, so okay, I'm sorry. Please bleep, bleep out, out the, the well, jersey godfather. number. Like, yes. someone being your godfather is like, isn't that the person is that's supposed to care about you the most? Like, And that's why I'm telling the story. Okay, okay. okay. Because it was Thanksgiving. 
and I'm working at a homeless, homeless shelter, shelter. Mm -hmm. and I'm watching these little girls and this woman watch her godfather just having a plate of food and just they they're yeah. just thankful to be watching him on TV while they don't really have a place to live that's crazy so that's, so that's why days like today's weeks like this week or mm -hmm. whenever you're listening to this podcast it's so important to me because I've been able to see all facets of life, whether I've lived it or not. Mm -hmm. I know what that feels like to go back into the room. I had to request a transfer from the family shelter to a men's shelter because I was able to understand why an adult man was in a situation that he's in compared to a child being in a homeless shelter. That's a lot. I couldn't go back home. And, and play my Xbox and see the TVs and, and know that I'm in a good position when there's children out there who are just happy to fucking watch a TV. Yeah, no, literally. I couldn't stomach that. So I called my boss like, yo, send me to another shelter. I would you, rather work with criminals and drug addicts before I work with children who don't have because he could understand it more yeah, yeah. Like, but see talking about shit like that like mm -hmm. just we just have to appreciate yep that's why our answers were were what they were like just can we just appreciate like what we have mm -hmm. like Facts. no funny shit it's crazy like and please don't yeah. forget it yeah mm -hmm. never forget that listen y'all and and i would expect you now that we're talking about thanksgiving mm -hmm. But like from we had a very great discussion on Patreon. If you guys want to tune in to pa our Patreon, but like we we're talking about like family dynamics, I would think like you, Savon, like would have like the most amazing like Thanksgiving experience because you have like such a good family. Like you mm. always reference like the holidays are like amazing for you. What like is there is it like amazing for you? Like you just have like no, I have a an amazing time. Yeah, yeah, I have a I'm huge jealous. family. Like, <laughs> I have a huge. Yeah. I have like three or four Thanksgivings a year because well, I have damn, so much damn, family. Slow down. Now, like I'm blessed. Like I don't damn. never deny my blessings. Nigga, I know yeah, what it is. Uh, yeah, I know nigga you weren't. You weren't about, <laughs> never, never, never. Yeah, you were talking about food, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you were talking about your That's why I couldn't situation. work in this fucking homeless shelter because they, they fucking. Because you're like, wait, they don't have a Thanksgiving. They're happy, yeah, bro. Like they happy to eat like canned goods and canned food, and I got like four houses to bust down of crab legs on Thanksgiving. And not, not even like, just the food. What are we talking about? I can't work with these people. Savon doesn't even just have good. the food. He has like the family member. He has yeah, like the, the cousins. Yeah. Like... It's a Tyler Perry movie every uh, holiday in my crib, yo. Dang, I love that. Fire, I just, I, I love that's, that for you. You know like, what this is? Y'all ever watch this Christmas? Yeah, that's how you should be feeling. That's this what it is. Christmas. <laughs> like, oh, that's what my family be looking like on the holidays. Like, sometimes... <laughs> I'm, I'm almost so embarrassed. Crazy. I can't imagine that. That's so Seriously, crazy. Bro, like, we, we do yeah. like the sweaters. Y'all do do the sweaters. I did see you do the sweaters. Yeah. Like, bro, like, yeah, that's, that's why I couldn't though. fathom. That's the American dream. Working right. with children in this space. You're living I'm like, the American dream. <laughs> they, they ain't got nothing. I'm about to go home and when take. When people come over from. My dog got a sweater. I, I, I that think is it's, the right, American dream. It that's now. what I'm saying. My <laughs> dog got a sweater, and they like, I be, yeah, yeah bro. So nah. I always keep people in mind who don't have it. as much, yeah. like in my thoughts, in my prayers, For sure. because I, I'm, I'm, I, it's a ble <sighs> my blessings are in abundance, mm -hmm. and I'm fact. so grateful. Like, even we if I didn't have right? all we're that happening, grateful. like the fact that we're able to do this I'm consistently. You. I'm telling you, it's we don't, small thing, we don't even think about it, and everybody is always like paid on time and like i'm proud of that alex mm -hmm. nah, i don't know sure. about you nah for sure but like for the sure. fact <laughs> i said that didn't i say that the yeah, way we, we were able right. to do need to know the way we envisioned it yeah, yeah, and the way we want it and that, yeah. that just fills my heart i can't mm -hmm. lie to you, it's a beautiful thing so i hope why we, everybody shares that that's why our again like our when you ask like what we're thankful for that's why our answers were the way that we are because we're just like yeah. we acknowledge yeah. how blessed we are like yeah like our situation is pretty great. Like it's, nah, it's pretty Thank good, you, and, and we acknowledge how other people, you know, like okay, we just I'm sorry. We nah, just it's important. It. Nah, you good. Mm -hmm. Just be thankful. I'm thankful for all the. Yo. Oh my nah, God! I'm yo. yo, it's what you nah, need to nah, know. Nah, Wait, nah, 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 I was joking on that. We nah. gonna hold it all that out. Nah. We we almost I'm ended this on the ground. This would have been a wholesome clip. Nah, but okay. I'm that great for them. Yo, use condoms. <laughs> Babies expensive word. <laughs> it's what you need to know when you need to know. God willing, we'll be back next week. If y'all want more content, please make sure y'all tune in to our Patreon. That is in the description below. We out of here, gang. Gang.